All right. Welcome back to another video. Today, you guys are gonna come with us on a barrel pick. Maybe do a little hunting, not sure. We're gonna play a game. See if we can't pick the best barrel of whiskey we ever picked yet. <clears throat> there we go. Got my voice back. Kinda. Oh. Guess what we're doing? The greatest pick of all time. Oh, it is on 35. That's why I was like, why are we so zoomed in? Um, we're here to do a blue run pick. Blue run pick. We just made it to the hotel room. We're gonna go in, we're gonna meet Klein and some other people because they are also doing their blue run pick at the same time. Yeah. So perfect. Um, we're man. gonna pick a very expensive barrel of whiskey. <sighs> Well, I, as long as we find one we love. If not, we're allowed to like delay this pick till next year or yeah. something and repick next year. You know what I will say? But A6400, great for vlogging yeah. because it's so easy to hold Mine's up. Mine's not, which is why I didn't bring it. The uh, A7S3 is a little heavier with a small rig on top. Yeah. But all right, we just got to the hotel room. We'll see you guys in the hotel. Go pick a blue rum barrel. Let's go get our pants off. We just got into our, our <sighs> suite. Look at all this. Uh, Look at all this. But travel bag. We're gonna go uh, have some drinks. Let's do this. Lucas, Lucas gifted us. No microwave, hand wash only. We don't need a knife for we're going, Luke. And that's to the land of the butterflies. Are you gonna get that open? Oh yeah. Oh my God, I don't want a broken back. You said 30 minutes to And what's gonna happen is I'll say, you'll go down Oh. Get it, get it, get it, all right. All right. Oh, um, I'm getting a bicycle because it's got a, a basket. I'm getting a scooter. <laughs> Nothing in life is better than Zerk on a scooter, dude. Dude, I got two bells. I, got if, one. I want you to know if you derf it and it goes viral, I'll keep the money. What? I'm going to just be on the record right now okay. saying this is going to go terribly go. as Ryan goes scooting on past. All right. Good luck, everyone. So we started right there. Adam has now made it all the way around the block to over there. And he's kicking his scooter. I wish we had a better lens to really show you. Oh God, the, bach the bachelorette party is now dancing with Adam. Let's go. How excited are you right oh, now? Dude. Literal like dream come true shit. Blue run pick, dude. Let's get this. So you're gonna taste whiskey from a bunch of different places, a bunch of different mash bills, a bunch of different proofs, a bunch, bunch of different ages. Uh, I wanted effectively in the future, the future state of this program is, is to essentially have an independent bottle of spirits from all over the place as our private girl program. Yeah, uh, right now it's all Kentucky straight bourbon. Um, next year we will include rye, but imagine like, hey, I got a Blue Run single barrel Italian malt whiskey. Um, that'd be kind of cool, right? Um, in addition to our regular schools. My other requirement is that none of the barrels that I went out and found and bought for this program are allowed to go into blending projects. So you won't see any of this whiskey in another butterfly bottle. It'll all be exclusive to this program for as long as I'm around. Um, because fortunately, I've got a little stake in the company and I get to make decisions. Uh, so, um, so that's still that's no longer the same. This this will be the covenants of the program. It'll always be unique whiskey. It'll always be something that you can't buy in a butterfly bottle unless it's through this program. I had another rule: like I won't accept a barrel unless I can taste it and then do blind sensory with other people. So Shaylin, Jim, Peggy, a handful of other people have all tasted these barrels, and I have a pretty. It's a pretty simple criteria, but it's it's pretty it, it, it's very square, right? First and foremost, and this is how I do my century, so we'll do this. First and foremost is a very scientific term, yum, yuck, <laughs> right? Which one of those is it? Do I try it and like it or do I try to not like it? If it doesn't, if you don't like it, we're not we're not using it. And so I need a yum on all my barrels. There's a few other things, but 
a lot of the other shit was kind of made up just to make me happy. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted like a maximum age, I wanted a minimum age. It was a bunch of fun shit, but uh, but so you guys are gonna taste four different barrels per group, right? So, um, and I'll probably throw in one or two extra pours just so we can try what else we have. But I made sure that there's no sister barrels, so you won't have you won't have you'll have four barrels from four different lots in front of you. Um, your proof points are gonna be about 15, almost 20 points difference. Um, my uh, the youngest whiskey in front of you guys tonight across the board will be six years old. All right, before we get back into the video, I'm gonna talk to you about some delicious freaking meat. Dan's favorite thing in the world. Literally, meat. maybe my favorite company we've worked with. Because they'll job. just deliver meat to your front door. So if you don't know, Good Chop is a meat delivery service with over 50 cuts of meat that you can get delivered right to your door. All high quality Tons. hormone uh, or antibiotics on your beef. Yeah. Um, or it's wild, wild caught uh, seafood Oof. and sustainably fished. So yeah. you got that going for you. That means there's going to be and a lot of salmon to come. Let me tell you what. It is so freaking good. It's so good. I'm gonna insert some shots of me cooking up some of the ribeyes that were phenomenal. If you're a New York person, uh, the strip that I had from them, the best one that we had. Filets, salmon, chicken, like night after night after. Yep. We were just doing good hey, chop and it nothing else. It was amazing. Research. It was research. Yeah. That's why I told Gabby, yeah. and it was delicious. For you real. You guys would the, be missing out. The meat's great. Don't. Like, honestly. You just click right below. All you gotta do is go to goodchop.com backslash YouTube. Use promo code bourbonjunkie120, all capital. Don't mess that up. <laughs> or if, you, if you're not a speller, you just click the link below <laughs> and you can get $120 off your first four boxes. Yeah. Honestly, the meat that you're gonna get in the box is d easily justifiable with the price tag, 100%. Me yeah. and uh, Ricky went through the box, even just looked up like average Midwest market rates on everything. Yeah, you get it's USDA awesome. choice and prime cuts. And so they just send getting, them to you. Yeah, you're like, getting good stuff. I couldn't believe that there wasn't a higher convenience fee if I'm being completely honest. Yeah. So support the people supporting us. Yeah. Check out Good Chop. For real, do it. Like yourself. Serious. Just get some meat delivered to your house and then cook it up. Back to the video. Shove it in your mouth. No. <laughs> we good? Yep. We're, 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 we're getting to elimination process, dude. You're not a millionaire. B is not a mil. B failed the first question. B is the first one out for our group for bourbon junkies. Oh, right. That's how it goes about it. We need the lights like this. <laughs> it was a uh, unanimous. No one liked B in oh, our group. Okay. Uh, we, we were talking a little bit. Every, everyone didn't like B. B. Is, we know Trey, was? Trey's gonna tell us what B was. Weeded. Was B weeded? I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> 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 All right, cut the film, cut the film. So what we did is we picked one of our favorites yeah. and Trey was kind enough to say, I will offer you guys one more sample. Yeah, yeah. you guys can come in on it now. Luke and Night Angel. Luke and Night Angel. Um, so he's gonna blind us on the sample that we like the most in one additional surprise sample and we'll figure it out from there. True. Hoping it still stays the same. We're gonna go to this bar. Like Look at this. Kind of hope the mystery. Look at it. We're gonna go to this nice, beautiful bar over there and pick something out and go right back. All right, so we picked the barrel. It is not the one that Dan actually wanted, but it kind of lost out first round. There are reasons, we'll tell you guys later. Um, and now we're just gonna hang out, be with people. We're gonna enjoy this beautiful bar behind us and hang out a little bit. Um, hope you guys love it. We do, you better. We are out of the pick, we've got picks. And now we're doing an escape room. Yeah, I don't either. Um, mostly because Trey's making us and there are prizes involved, so we're gonna do it. Uh, we're back on the scoot, gang. You know, shooting most days, I don't care. Let's get there. Right All right, we made it to almost the escape room. Most of us are here. Thankfully, Dan still made it. Don't worry about that. Rest of Up there. Yeah, turn right there. We're gonna go try to escape from a room. Best of luck to us. Oh, Sherlock Holmes style, huh? Okay. I can terrible our friends are. Find in his habitat. I'm the BC boy! Oh, right. You know, I'm gonna have to say, I think we did pretty well. 
I From the hand impressed. we were dealt with, yeah. Um, yeah. they had a faulty lock in there. I'm gonna throw that out. At there. least one. But we, we, found, we yeah, at least one. We went sure. through a lot of different combinations. We had the right combination, and the lock wasn't resetting. Like, we had a, we had the right combination way earlier than we. I blame like that escape lock. room. Definitely not our abilities in any way, shape, or form. No. Um, well, the fact that she tried to help us and we didn't ask for help, <laughs> that was all the red flag I needed. She, I was like, we didn't ask for this. You just we have to go downstairs? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going downstairs. So, uh, Trey, where are we going next? Um, I think we're going to hit, there's a couple of spots that we can grab drinks at. All right. And then we're just going to hang out. Because that's what we do. We're going to hang out. We already picked a barrel. Uh, actually, two, technically. How do you feel about your barrel? Oh, I hate it. Um, I really felt coerced in buying it. So uh, I twisted his arm. Yeah, really, really hard. Uh, other than that, we're ready to go. We're on to the next spot. We got some more scoot action. Keep things secure, my man. We're on out. See you guys. Peace. We picked a barrel of blue run. I won this hat for being awesome. Yeah. And uh, oh, the blue run barrel pick we program. We we're not doing eighty-seven. We're not. Yeah. We're the not barrel pick that. blue run program is really interesting. Very different from their normal yeah. products. And uh, hopefully you guys love it. Cheers, everybody. Uh, See you probably in the morning, realistically. Night. All right, so we're done with the pick. We just had breakfast, hung out with Luke and Night Angel for a while. And now we're gonna go hit up maybe a couple liquor stores on the way home. And then Dan's gonna go to urgent care because his face is <sighs> and I just, killing him. You know, just in pain, but. It's killing me too. Before. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna it's be a murder suicide. Nice. I want you to know that. Um, Which one's the murder? <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna head to. We're gonna start at Smitty's. See yep. what we can find at Smitty's. I googled liquor store near me or whiskey store near me is actually what I ended up. We've been to like. Smitty's a couple times. But we've been to Smitty's, so we're gonna go to Smitty's because just because we know it. Yeah. And then after we go to Smitty's, there's I think there's like a Rishi's and a few more stores in the area, so we stop yeah. at those. See if we can find something up. cool. Or was there anything we're like looking for? ACBP B batch would be cool. That I'm looking for? I don't know. Cool shit. Just stuff we don't have. Yeah. Stuff like that people in theory want reviews on. Stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, we'll look to see what's around. See you guys at Smitty's. We're here. We made it. We uh we gotta find parking now. I'm already right there. Found it. We found parking. There's so little parking. Oh my gosh, there's literally three spots. Oh, there's like four. If you drive a smart car. Yeah, good luck getting a tow truck back here. Okay, so this we is made it. Towed. There's no way you're towing my shit. Good luck. They're not towing anything. All right, we're gonna go in. Uh, we'll let you know what we find. Is there a scratch on that? Oh, it's like, man, that would have just sent me. Oh, we stopped. We got a couple things. Limited edition core water. Uh, I got Everfresh pineapple. We got this only two times MSRP. Um. Uh, that is a very confusing store to me, though. It is. Uh, so we got the Fox Note. Is that the... Double Oak? Double Oak and the Rye, because the rye. the rye is distilled in Ohio, and we don't know where it's from, so it's very confusing. That's the only reason we bought it, actually. We want to try it. Because we don't know what rye is made in Ohio. Um, so we got that. And what if we love it? And then we just find out who it is, and then we buy it. For Maybe. Virtue. Yeah, we could do that. Um, they have every brand under the sun. I told Dan, I was like... Could you make any more fucking noise? I'm just moving it. I said, it's a very confusing story because there is every brand under the sun in that place. There's, there's so many labels there, yeah. I've never even seen. I go, we do this for a living and there's so many brands in here that I have never seen and never heard of. Yeah. Um, and none of them, I'm just gonna go for it, huh? Uh, I mean, half of them just say bottled by. They don't even show the distilling. Um, it's just, not great. Not great Smitty's at all. carries a lot of stuff. Now, unfortunately, I'm assuming like good but stuff was just some, I don't know. There was no ECBPs. Mm -hmm. I told Dan, I said, when we left, I go, there was like hardly any legacy there. Um, there was no Buffalo Trace product There was in some there? Jack Daniels, some Old Forester. Yeah, they had the whole row series up there. There was a Jack Daniels that we never heard of. Yeah. The, the number 27, the maple finish one. Yeah. Um, but like... There was a couple, there's Rare Breed and That's Turkey true. 101 sitting there. A lot of random brands. Like a lot of brands that you look at and you're like, you guys made your label in clip art and put it on a random That is the glass. most like user confused shop for whiskey ever. Because well, like I, there's so many options. Yeah. I feel like what we happens. We spent 20 minutes just looking at all the bourbon yeah. options. I feel like what happens 
is like a, people just walk in, pitch that brand, and he tries it. Oh, him, yeah, right? yeah. He tries to sell it for him, which is great for like the small brands up and coming. The problem is if you're not going to put the transparency on the label, not everybody. I mean, listen, we only bought that rye because we want to know what Ohio rye is like. Yeah. But if it didn't say distilled in Ohio, I don't, we, don't, we would just assume it was MGP and probably not bought it. Yep. So I think the lack of transparency stops us from buying certain things. But A lot of things. All those random brands that yep. no one cares about. All right. On to the on next, to next one. All right. Stop number two. We're here at Rishi's International Beverage, Beer, Wine, and Liquor. Um, International what, Beverage is an interesting name. See what they got here. Hopefully, man, I... I'm hoping some ECBP. Like, honestly, we haven't seen one I'd in like, forever. I'd like to find a Larceny B batch as well, honestly. Yeah. That'd be cool. All right, let's head inside and see what Let's they got. It. Okay. All right, we're back in the car. Um, they had a couple interesting things. Dan basically got Midwinter Night's man, brand. I almost bought two of these because um, they're gone forever. Because we haven't talked about, man, I just, I'm going to be shaking this thing real, real bad. Oh, all right. Well, you know, you get what you get, people. You get what you get. Um, so you got that, and oh, yeah. I bought a, a 175 with a Buffalo Trace pick because why not? We walked we walked out with only store Yeah, and we didn't really find anything um, we wanted to review. They had a $300 Jefferson's Ocean, or no, just Jefferson's. The Marianne something. Marion? I don't know. I don't know. I never we didn't know the name, you and I what? didn't have my phone on me, so I couldn't tell you what it was. I'm going to Google it right now. But it's a $300 Jefferson's that we just kind of passed on, because the only ones that were worth $300 in my mind is when they had Stitzel Weller in it. They don't yeah, have that dude, anymore. They are like 300 bucks. Yeah. At Total Wine. Is that new? Uh, must be. Well, we've got one more stop. We're going to go into Total Wine and see if they have anything, because we forgot there's a Total Wine here now. Yeah catch up with you guys there so uh, me and dan were just kind of talking and i was saying that like the average consumer coming in right now the label fatigue feels very very real um there are so many unknown labels to us and probably everyone else so i said it'd be fun we each should buy two bottles under fifty dollars labels we've never heard of and then we'll just blind them and 50 see. pre-tax yeah and then we'll just figure out what's the best label we've never heard of just random whiskey yeah buy random stuff we're in total wine there's a I lot mean, of labels it's, it's really not hard like Look, twenty six ninety nine. Never heard of this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's forty. Yeah. That's so 45. under fifty bucks, it's we're gonna good. we're gonna buy two four or four bottles, two each, and see who can find the best new label to us. Yep. We'll update you on that. We'll see you in the castle. The mic been on this whole time. Yeah, made that's it out fair. of total wine. Fairly. Dan spent way too much money on Crown Apple. We almost put a comma in the in the receipt. That Crown we Apple. Almost Two hundred dollar oh. crown apple. It better be good. It's I gonna hate be you. mediocre. Dude. At best. It's gonna. We found. The crown jewel. Some would say. <laughs> I don't know how it. The flavored out. whisk. Oh my god. Uh, how much was it? Two hundred. Two hundred dollars. Two twenty five or something like that. Yeah. Take take her out and show the people what we spent. Oh, look at that. Look at that stopper, at though. That, oh, 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 my gosh. Okay. It's in a gold effing bottle. Okay, that's pretty cool. Extra rare blend pairing patiently aged 23 year old whiskey with the taste of golden, delicious apples. I'm opening it. Where's the. <laughs> it's we got, plastic. We got. <laughs> is it real? No, oh, it, it just feels like plastic. We got that. We'll do a review on the Chestnut Farms bottled and bond. This is like 130. I don't know. We didn't really, really push that. We did not really know about that one, but we figured we kind of got to review it. Because maybe if it's good, then we could tell you guys it's good. We got bottles for another video. And then we also, Sean wants one of these because he yeah. likes Vampire Diaries. Sean's a big Vampire Diary kind of guy. I can't tell if that's glass or that, plastic. There's no way. Buddy. This is, it's hollow if it's glass. Buddy. What's it smell like? It smells really fucking good. Does it? Does it smell better than proper apple? That's a real question. Is it good? I don't want to hate it. You want it's to hate it? It's not $200 good. It's pretty damn good. It oh man. Phenomenal. It finishes a little chemically. Does it? Yeah. I'm not drinking, I'm waiting for the review. We're going to review this. Okay. We'll do a review of this. I'm not drinking it. And I we, will abstain. We can literally just put proper apple next to it. Yeah, and see who wins. Yeah. The $20 bottle or the $200 oh, bottle? You know. 
So we got some uh, bottles of whiskey for a different video, but these are all the other bottles we bought. Bought Gypsy whiskey. I like the label. We actually met a couple guys here, Tyler and Hunter, yep. who watch the channel. And we had them pick out a couple bottles for us for our other video that you guys will see here in a Thursday or two. So yeah, that is everything we got. Now we're gonna head home. Disgusting. I'm gonna go to the urgent care. Dan's dying. Get as many antibiotics as they'll legally put me on so that I can survive. But yeah, I don't, we ended up spending about a thousand dollars today now that I think about it. Yeah. 700 of it was here. Feels like we struck out till we got here. Yeah. We may have still kind of struck out. Yeah. But it depends on if this Chestnut Farms is really good. Yeah. Uh, got it. hopes. All right. Well, we'll see you guys on a different video. day. This is the end of the video. All right. Wrap it. See you guys. See ya. Love you guys.